Hey, I'm Art. I'm back again. Let me get my energy flowing. Well, that's it. Now my energy's flowing. That feels pretty good. Well, when using Reiki with animals or young children, the healing is different with adults. Most animals and children do not have the patience to stay still for the Reiki session. Both also have the ability of absorbing energy quicker than an adult. When a pet is feeling well, the pet may reject the energy and just walk away. When an animal is ill, they usually accept it. A pet that is ready to pass over will often reject it. Reiki on babies usually puts them to sleep. To give Reiki to a child or pet, place your hands over them, over the pain area. Reiki will go where the energy is needed. A tiny animal can be held in both hands between your palms. When the pet has had enough, they will get restless or leave. If they need more, they will come back in a few minutes. In kids, the child will tell you directly, or they get restless, or they'll just say, stop. Cats are particularly aware of Reiki energy. If they need healing, they will accept it. Dogs are more laid back. Reiki energy tickles them. When doing Reiki for others, it is important for both receiver and healer to be comfortable. The receiver has to lie still, first on the back and then on the stomach. Put a pillow under the knees if they have a back problem. The session should last at least an hour. If someone is receiving Reiki in the hospital, or are they ill, they may not be able to turn over. There may be positions hard to reach. Skip them. Put your hands only over or near the pain area. It is best to do a session when the receiver is lying down. You can also have the receiver sitting in a chair. In a public place, I would place my hands on their shoulder and let the energy flow. Well, that's it for this week. If you like this video, please share and subscribe and press the bell for weekly notifications. See you next week.